Do you use Lutron Caseta smart switches throughout your house? Maybe you have some of these little Pico remotes laying around or as a part of your three-way switch setups. Wouldn't it be awesome if we could use these to control any of our HomeKit accessories or scenes? Well, you can't do that by default, but there is a way. Today we're gonna talk about that and that might just make this the best smart button for HomeKit. Let's go. Sponsored by Eve. Yo, what's going on guys? Thanks so much for joining me again for another video. My name is Shane, if you're new here, and this channel is all about building an easy smart home using Apple's HomeKit, with new videos published every Sunday and live streams every Wednesday. So I think it's safe to say that Lutron Caseta is probably the undisputed fan favorite in terms of smart light switches for HomeKit. They work great, they're reliable and fast, and you almost never hear anyone say anything bad or negative about them, except for maybe how expensive they are. They're definitely not cheap, but you get what you pay for. And if you, like me, use Lutron Caseta smart switches, chances are you may have some of these little Pico remotes throughout your house. These are small battery powered remotes that can fit into a standard Decora style switch plate. You can mount them directly to a surface or on one of the little pedestal mounts that they sell. Most of them cost around $20. They sell a few variations, including the two button version, a three button version, and the common five button version coming in various colors with a few different options for icons. The Pico remotes are intended to be paired with your Lutron Caseta devices in the Lutron app. I have a lot of these Pico remotes in my house, mainly because I have a lot of three-way switches, and I've often thought it would be awesome if I could get one or more of these buttons to control my other HomeKit accessories, you know, since I have them everywhere. But like I said, it's not possible by default. Well, until now, thanks to a little Homebridge plugin that I was recently turned on to. A quick shout out to Brad, one of the subscribers and also a member of the channel who first brought this plugin to my attention. So thanks to Brad for this awesome little tip. This plugin essentially turns any Pico remote into a smart wireless HomeKit button, giving you the ability to program every button on this thing in HomeKit which is freaking awesome. Now, for those that don't know, Homebridge is a way to integrate your smart home devices into HomeKit, those that don't otherwise support HomeKit natively. Homebridge is usually ran on a Raspberry Pi or another small, you know, always on computer. Now, if you don't have Homebridge or Hoobs, there is another workaround for using that little favorite button right here to control your HomeKit scenes, one that I actually discussed about two years ago on the channel, so this method does does still work. I'll put a link to that video down below, but if you do have Homebridge or Hoobs, you'll definitely want to check out this plugin that we're talking about today because not only can you program that little middle button there, but you can also program all of these other buttons in HomeKit, essentially making the Pico Remote a standalone HomeKit scene controller for 20 bucks. So real quick, what you'll need, you will need either Homebridge or Hoobs, like I just said. You will need at least one Lutron Pico remote, and you will need the Lutron Smart Bridge. So now we're gonna search for the Lutron Caseta Leap plugin for our Homebridge setup. Once you find the plugin, honestly, the setup could not be any easier, so kudos to the developer of this plugin. Once installed, you should see your Lutron Caseta bridge appear. Click Associate, and then you have to run as fast as you can to push the button on the back of your Lutron bridge within 30 seconds, and that's literally it. Then all of your existing Pico remotes that you have already paired to the Lutron bridge will show up in HomeKit. If you wanna add another Pico remote after you've already set up the plugin, just add it to your Lutron bridge in the Lutron app, just like you always would. I tried this and it actually showed up automatically in HomeKit, but if it doesn't, just restart HomeBridge and then it should show up in HomeKit. And once it works in HomeKit, you'll get access to configure a single press action for all of the buttons on the Pico remote. You can see here listed from top to bottom is that configuration. And one thing to note, any configuration that you've done in the Lutron app will still work. So if you've paired your Lutron Pico remote with any other Lutron devices, that functionality will still work. And then whatever you configure in HomeKit 
will also work at the same time. So that's something to consider. So let me share with you some of the ways that I'm using these. So in my living room, I have this little Pico remote right back here that's being used in a three-way switch. I never really used the little middle button on it, so I can program it for something in HomeKit. Now, I wouldn't wanna configure these other buttons because they're still controlling the light that's in here, but I'm thinking this middle button here would be great for setting my movie time scene. I currently have this little flick button over here to open and close all the blinds, which works in HomeKit, but they're not Lutron shades. So I might even consider getting a Pico remote, one of the ones with the little blinds icon and configure that to do the same thing. And I can then integrate that in here with these other switches and it'll look a lot more normal. All right, so over here by my front door, I have yet another Pico remote being used in another three-way switch setup. So again, I'm not gonna configure these outer buttons because they are controlling lights, but I don't ever use that middle button here. So what I'm gonna do is actually set up an automation for that middle button to control some nano leaf lights that are just over here right outside of frame. Uh, and for this one, I'm gonna use convert to shortcut. And with that, I can create a simple toggle. So a single press will turn those lights on and then press it again to turn them off. So what about in the garage? You could put one of these guys on the wall or near your workbench to control your lights, your garage door, or really anything uh, hey, else. Hey man, you know, uh, we got a sponsor for today's video, right? Might be a good time to let everybody know. Uh, yeah, oh, oh, okay, so today's video is sponsored by Eve. Now, if you're not familiar with Eve, they make great privacy-focused products that work exclusively with HomeKit. They are one of the leading companies right now making products that support HomeKit over thread. Oh, like the Eve Aqua. Yeah, um, like the Eve Aqua. That's a smart water controller that can connect right to your hose faucet. It supports thread, meaning there's no grids needed. You can set schedules, pause schedules, monitor your water usage over time. You can control this thing by touch, Siri, or any of your Apple devices since it supports HomeKit. Check out the link in the description to purchase one or to take a closer look at all the features. I'm a big fan of all the Eve stuff, so I'm thrilled to have Eve as a sponsor. Hey, tell them about the giveaway. All right, man, I, I got this. Uh, so Eve has agreed to give away a bunch of these Eve Aqua nice. water controllers to you guys. So I'm gonna be doing that giveaway this week over on Instagram. So. Be sure to follow me over there and look out for those details and you can have a chance to win one of these for yourself. Again, links to everything are below in the description. Big thanks to Eve for sponsoring this video and for supporting this channel. All right, so you're saying that you can use this Pico remote with any of your HomeKit devices now, yeah. even the Eve Aqua? Uh, Well, yeah, actually that would be a pretty good idea. I can configure this little Pico remote here, um, put it anywhere in my garage and actually have it control my Eve Aqua sprinklers outside. Maybe you want a physical controller near a window and you can see the sprinklers come on. So yeah, I mean, that's a pretty good idea. What would you do without me? Well, uh, that got a little bit weird, but uh, as you can see, this can be extremely useful. You know, this is great, especially since there is really only one other HomeKit button that I know of right now that will fit into a traditional wall switch plate, and that's the Wemo stage. Now, the stage is a, you know, it's a good little HomeKit button. Um, it does support thread, but the battery life on that thing has been really bad since uh, since we got that thread update. Now, this is a known problem and hopefully they'll fix that with the future update. But meanwhile, I've had numerous little Pico remotes for years around my house and I have not had a battery die on a single one of these yet in years. Plus, you can get most of these remotes for like $20 each. The Wemo stage is $50. So if you already use Lutron and Homebridge in your setup, I think this could be a great option for a good HomeKit button. Stick it on the side of your bedside table, put it on one of those neat little pedestals that they sell, or integrate them in with your other switches. Put them in the garage, or utilize some of those buttons on your existing Pico remotes that you might not be using. Let me know what you think. Is this something you're gonna try out? If you have questions, of course, drop them down below as you 
usual. If you want to join as a channel member and get access to some cool perks, including that member Discord community where I actually first learned about this cool little plugin, click the join button below for more details. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.